All right, so I pulled out my retro Toy Biz Punisher to film again with the most recent pickup because I used to love this comic, the Punisher issue number four. I use this as a backdrop. I'm going to be creating a little Punisher section once I pick up the Marvel Legends uh, two-pack Punisher with Bushwhacker. So it's going to go along with this retro Toy Biz Punisher. You know what, man? It's, it's so retro that it's freaking cool, man. They did a good job. The paint application, honestly, for the 90s here, this thing is awesome. Look at it. The skull, amazing. I mean, his face skull is obviously very retro, but you know what? Over the years, look at this thing. This thing's held up very, very well. So some ideas for you guys, if you have the Toy Biz Punisher or if you haven't picked it up, pick it up. It's a pretty cool little figure, man. It's a sturdy too, solid material. And it goes good with comics, man, especially that comic there, number four. So if you guys want to have a nice close-up shot here, I did one for you guys here of issue number four there. Look at that. I always loved this comic, man. I the, This was Punisher comic covers were one of my favorites. They were so well drawn and just very vibrant in colors. It's just so cool. There it is. He shot his back there. And he's just like, ah, the Punisher. So there you guys go. Some ideas on a Saturday. If you guys are looking to pick up some retro figures, the Punisher. Punisher with issue number four put on display look kind of cool and some ideas when you pick up the new Marvel Legends 2-pack all right take care guys